Welcome back to the garage. Today I'm going to show you how I installed this Mods Flip 4 seat on this Yamaha G16E. These are the tools we'll be using on this installation. We started by taking off the sun top. There are three bolts on each side of the cart securing the sun top to the frame. Once we've removed all the nuts and bolts, we'll remove the sun top and set it aside. Now we can remove the two bolts that connect the struts to the seat back assembly. The sweater basket may fall when removing these bolts. Don't drop it on the body and scratch the paint. Now that we have all the hardware removed, we can now set the complete frame on the ground and take it apart. Now that we have it apart, we can reattach the front U-bar back to the golf car. Now since the U-bar is actually mounted at an angle, I usually use a Phillips head screwdriver to put through one side of the framing to hold it just in place so that I can use a bolt inserted on the other side so it's easier to align. Now we can remove to the back of the golf car and remove the seat back assembly. We will start this by removing the two bolts that hold each side of the seat back in place and set those aside because we will be using them again later. Next we'll move down to the inspection panel and we'll remove the two rivets holding it in place. I found a trick to taking out the plastic rivets is to get a set of wire cutters and lightly grasp the head so you can pull it out without cutting the head off. Just a quick easy tip to get it out. Next, we will pull out the seat back assembly by taking out the two bolts on each side that's located under this inspection panel. Next, we'll insert the replacement ones into the original holes, making sure that the little L bracket is facing outward and secure it with the factory hardware that we just took out. Next, using a half inch drill bit, we'll drill out the holes back here in the bag well for the base support. Now we can replace the inspection panel and place our seat base assembly onto the rear of the golf car. Bolt it at the back in the inner oblong holes and on the bottom in the outer oblong hole. Moving on to the footrest, we'll first attach the mounts in the oblong holes using the included hardware and then attach the footrest to the rear seat supports. Next, we can attach the armrest, starting it right in the middle, then to the footrest, and then to the very front portion. The upper ones will require the use of spacers that are included in your kit. Before we mount the new struts, we'll actually attach the original seat back to the car, and then we'll go ahead and put the new struts up using hardware that's supplied in the kit. Next, we mount the seat back brackets to the new seat back. Now when you tighten these down, just get it snug. It comes with a lock washer and you just wanna make sure the lock washer collapses, that's all. If you over tighten it, it can cause it to strip. Next, we'll mount the seat to the rear support bar. Next, what we did was put the seat base on. You do that by using a number three Phillips head screwdriver and you just wanna snug them all down. And don't forget the washers that go along with it. It keeps those bolts from eventually backing off. And lastly, we'll reattach the sunroof using the original hardware that we took off to begin with. Well, I hope this video helped you installing your Mods Flip 4 seat on a Yamaha G16. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and for all your golf cart parts and accessories, check out DIYGolfCart.com and make sure to check out our other videos.